Hello everybody and welcome back to Soul Standing. My name is Beth and this video is a really quick what I'm reading right now uh, update. So basically two days ago I gave you a Friday Reads video and now I'm giving you what I'm reading at the end of February video because I changed some stuff up. So the first thing you should know is that I'm done with the Goldfinch. I did not finish it in the last 24 hours. Oh no, I got through page 288 which is the end of chapter five, and I just don't care enough to continue on with the story. Uh, there are a couple of things I'm curious about, but it's not anything that's going to eat at me if I don't find out, so I'm putting it aside. When I don't want to pick up a book, that's a pretty good indication that I ought to just DNF it, so I'm DNFing it. I'm a little over halfway through with Throne of Glass. We were really busy today. We went to the library, went to lunch with a very dear friend, and then went, did a little shopping, went to a play at the college and, you know, came home, did supper, all that jazz. And it was just me and the kid. So I didn't sit down and read anymore, but I am close enough to the end that I should be able to finish it tonight or tomorrow. It's a really quick read and I am loving it just as much now as I did before. Solid four to four and a half stars. Uh, I also picked up the crossover by Kwame Alexander. Um, our library at school actually purchased me a copy so I could do a novel study and it's misprinted, so I went ahead and picked this up so I could continue with the novel study while we send it back and get a correctly printed copy for our library. Um, but I love this book. I've read it twice in the last year. It is written completely in verse. Kwame writes in a mixture of kind of rap couplets and free verse, and it's absolutely fabulous. And finally, I have my first physical copy of a manga. Um, I've been reading slowly but surely Orange, um, the name of the book is Orange, I've been reading it slowly but surely, which was suggested to me by uh, one of my very dear friends, Jordan, from The Bookie Babe, and it's by Ichingo, some, I don't know who it's by, and I can't get it to come up on my phone without just being completely obnoxious about it, but it's a very sweet, bittersweet kind of friendship story. And then one of my students who only reads manga and fan fiction uh, made a deal with me that if I would read one of her favorite mangas, that she would in turn read one of my favorite books from a different genre, but, you know, not manga or fan fiction. So I think she's going to choose to read Pride and Prejudice because there are a lot of references to Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet and Kimberly and a bunch of fan fictions and things that she's read, even in mangas and television shows that she's watched. So I think she wants to read it kind of as research, but I don't care if she's reading something uh, in a different genre. That's just a huge, a huge win for me as a reading teacher. Um, and I've been meaning to read some manga anyway, because I've never read it before. So she suggested Skip Beat, which is by Yoshiki Nakamura. This is a bind up of volumes one, two, and three. I finished volume one already today. Thoroughly enjoyed it. It's probably a three star, I think is what I gave it on Goodreads. I will probably read volume two uh, tonight, finish up volume three tomorrow. They're quick reads once you get used to reading backwards. I'm still getting a little lost on some of the pages, but I'm working on it. And look, Jordan, another manga that I'm reading. Aren't you proud of me? All right, so those are what I'm working on finishing up for the end of February. And like I said, my middle grade March Mystery Madness TBR will be up tomorrow. So please look for that. Let me know if you've read any of these, if there are any other books you would suggest for me, uh, what you are reading right now, all that jazz. I will talk to you guys again soon. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new and have a fabulous week. Bye.